is being deployed in our food supply. It is madness. Until unless it is proved foolproof that it has no harm for the public, don't propagate it. Propagation of something of which you are not sure of, which would create enormous damage to the life on this planet, is not acceptable by any means. It is not science, it is terrorism. In spite of so many reported harmful effects of GM food, the Food and Drug Administration of America, FDA, kept on ignoring the findings and declared these food items as safe for human consumption. One gentleman in America took the US FDA to court. 44,000 pages which questioned the, 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 the harmful impacts or the, the relevance of GM food for human health uh, tumbled out of the cupboards there. And the US FDA uh, didn't have anything on to answer those things. In fact, the overwhelming consensus among the FDA's own scientists were that genetically engineered foods were unsafe and could lead to allergies, toxins, new diseases, and nutritional problems. The person in charge of policy who overruled and ignored the scientists had been recruited to the FDA from Monsanto's law firm and later became Monsanto's vice president. It's a classic case of vested interests wreaking havoc on people's health because institutions that have been created to protect our health are actually hand in glove. The multinational companies who are promoting GM foods claim that after the green revolution, the gene revolution is the next big thing to solve global food problem. They say the application of genetic engineering increases the productivity through improved crop varieties, reduces input costs and lowers environmental hazard. They even claim that the food derived from GE crops is substantially equivalent to other conventional methods of food production. Given the evidence that we have today, these companies are telling an absolute lie for which there is no scientific evidence whatsoever. I'm not against genetic engineering per se. Genetic engineering can be applied to human gene therapy. It can be creating medicines in the laboratory under very carefully watched conditions. But we should not feed the products of an infant science to millions of people or release it into the environment where it can never be recalled. We don't understand the language of the DNA. Yes, I am for DNA research, genetic engineer in laboratories, in carefully controlled conditions, but not in my intestines, not in my environment. Driven by their sole aim of making profit and controlling the food production all over the world, the biotech giants like Monsanto, Syngenta, unleashed a wave of silent killers in the market people began to report symptoms which were not known before. L-tryptophan was not the only case of allergic reaction to GM foods in the U.S. In 2001, the U.S. Center for Disease Control and Prevention launched an investigation after consumers reported allergic reaction to a protein found in a bioengineered variety of corn called Starlink. I felt my chest getting tight and it was hard to breathe. I felt like I was going to die. I'm very concerned about this um, thing that's, you know, a few multinationals and a few greedy businessmen are doing. I mean, they don't care for people. They don't care for the health of the nation or the world. Just for a few bucks. European countries initially hailed the GM food as a new revolution to solve the food crisis in the world. But they became wary of their adverse effects on people's health with the rising incidence of prostate cancer and its link to a genetically modified substance called bovine growth hormone. There is something called a shock and awe. In, in Europe what happened was they were faced first with mad cow disease and then they were faced with foot and mouth disease. Now in both these diseases had inflicted a massive, massive destruction of the cattle. And they had to burn cattle. Thousands and thousands of cattle were burnt alive. Now in that particular situation, they, they have seen the horror of, of uh, you know, all these kinds of food and feeds. Now they realize if it can happen to animals, it can happen to human beings also. The use of bovine growth hormone was banned, but people all over Europe became vociferous in their demand to put a ban on all kinds of GM food in their country. 
we demand more studies. That's why also we supported the demand for a moratorium that we need to, to know much more about this new technology. The opposition to GM food united the consumers, civil society groups and farmers like never before. I myself would never eat GM food because I do not know if it's safe or not. We don't have the relevant information, we don't have enough information about what is happening and so I would advise you not to eat it because we don't know if it's safe. In Switzerland, through a referendum, they even forced the government to put a five-year moratorium on production and entry of GM food in the country. majority of consumers did not see any advantage, so they said, I don't want to take any risk. The same thing with the farmers. It was really their interest. They saw that they can sell better their products if they are without GM. At a time when countries across the world are shutting their doors on GM food, dozens of crops and vegetables in India are undergoing various stages of trials simply because people in the country are largely ignorant about what GM foods are and what impact they will have on their health. Genetically modified in the sense of... Mm, uh, I have not really ever tried anything. I don't even know whether it is good or bad. When we don't have any other option, then we got to use it. It's, uh, it's very bad. Well, and we're still alive. We have some clues to make it more sweet. I really don't know exactly what, but there is something. I'm not, I don't know how. I prefer organic food rather than uh, the genetic modified food. What food are you talking about? People don't know anything about GM foods at this stage. Uh, the government doesn't know anything about GM foods at this stage. Uh, corporations don't know much about GM foods at this point. Uh, we're, we're in a world where we're in playing with a new technology which has massive implications for the environment, massive implications for food production, and massive implications for, for consumption. In the genetic engineering technology, we take genes from one species and put it into another species and make the genes work, that is, produce the product for which they code. Look at the way the genes are being now tinkering or the food is now being tinkered with. Gene from pigs are being taken to put into rice. The gene from fish to tomato, the gene for milk in human beings, human females, has been now inserted into rice. And the scientists are trying to say this will take care of diarrhea in human beings. Now, all these permutation combinations have actually gone beyond the ethics that the society has been living in. And I think that is again going to create, whether it's a religious issue or whether it's going to be an ethical issue or a morality issue, that I think is also going to be infringed by genetically modified foods. Taking advantage of people's ignorance and a corrupt and incompetent regulatory mechanism in the country, biotech MNCs are getting firmly entrenched in India and conducting trials over a host of vegetables and food items which will soon find their ways on our platter. Today, 56 GM crops are at different stage of trials in India. And they include brinjal, okra, potato, cabbage, cauliflower, ginger, corn, tomato, mustard, and rice that are integral part of our daily diet. Tomorrow, you and I could be sitting down to a plate of bengan or bindi or a salad or tomatoes, and you could not trust the food on your table to give you the nutrition that you've always expected of these vegetables. There could be something toxic in it.